check for $100 was paid in 1950. But it was paid on the backs, it was paid on the backs of all of them that went to their graves. The picture was already paid for by workers that died, that went to work and got on the bus that evening and never got up. You know, uh, it was paid for by the widows and children of those workers that already had, I didn't have to pay for it again. At the same time, we're standing here and Governor Snyder talking about cutting our pension. Yeah. How you gonna cut a pension that was already paid for? You know, uh, we gotta understand that, else we can't fight and defend what we got with the passion that's gonna be necessary. Right. Right. You know, and that's why the stories of history are so important for us to be able to stand up and fight back uh, based on where we come from to understand where we're going. So it's, so it's some points in history that got to be captured, or else we're not going to be able to be victorious, and we're not going to be able to put the kind of fighting spirit in our fight that we need. And the first guy who got the Ford picture, this picture, yeah. Yeah. downtown, and I didn't even know it was there. Yeah. Yeah. But he's still alive. It was said earlier that people my age take lunch breaks for granted. I assure you that we do not. Uh, I do not take lunch breaks for granted. I don't take lunch breaks. Uh oh. Uh oh. And, and so we're coming at a place where like social media is important, and we need to organize people on a, a large scale right. because the labor movement is no longer just about workers' rights. The labor movement is connected with like the you know movements for civil rights, movements for climate justice, and all of that is connected. We're right. global now. Right. And I just looked it up. The UAW has a Twitter. They have less followers than I do. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's time to stop playing you know, okay. new problems in old ways. <laughs> is just what Baker has been saying over and over again. If you don't know history, and what gave rise to say, uh, the UAW, the ASME, or uh, uh, the history of the, of the union, or uh, any community organization, then you're going to make some of the same mistakes that happen then. It's the same thing that we cannot sit up in here. Yeah, we look at our mistakes and our errors that we have made over the last year and stuff like that. But as we approach May Day, it's for us to summarize that and point the path where we got to go based on new conditions that we are facing. A lot of us in here are not needed to work no more. Yeah, they're going to use racism, but racism is only the form. What is the content? Ooh. And that's what you've got to be able to understand. In order for them to be able to move the emergency manager uh, situation, it's because they, they go through the black community to knock everybody else into, in, in, into right. shape. So we, we got to, you know, we all in here, we're leaders. Right. We're leaders because we're here tonight and we want to know where we're going. And I don't put my faith in no politician. Because right. I'm a politician too, but I'm a new guy. And I want them to understand that I understand that the future can look like. I do have a vision. Yeah. I know people don't have to be starving here. That's right. We don't have to be starving on the global level. Right. Because we have the ability in one county alone, somewhere in, in California, to do exactly what this young man has yeah. figured out. To feed everybody throughout the world. That's right. Now, if the union not only has to educate themselves, but all of us have to be teachers and open up a different type of freedom school. Not just the old freedom school, and I know you weren't talking about the old type. But we use that form, the youth, okay. the everybody turns into not only teachers, but use your skills and expertise to pull more into the fight. We're not waiting on no Martin Luther King. We ain't waiting on no other leaders. We're depending on one another. Right. Now, if you can't take criticism, then you don't need to be around me. Because it's the only thing that's going to help push us forward. Don't wait on no damn politician that's that been elected and that type of stuff. Because they don't know what the future is like. You go, you go to a city council meeting, you go up to Lansing, you go to Washington, and you try to ask them about your particular, they don't know a damn thing. That's right. Nothing. 
So we have to go on and make sure that we are the ones in the trenches. That's right. We're the ones up here educating. We're the ones that sit their butts down and tell them, if you're not going to represent our interests, then you don't need to be up there. Right. Right. You don't need to be leading us nowhere because we're going to leave your tail from now on. <laughs> so, you know, I'm saying to young people, you know, I, I hate the fact that, um, you know, we, we come into these rooms, and I'm, I'm one of the stays anyway all the time, because the people that I work with, the disciplines have, we get, we get pooted on all the time. <laughs> uh, and everybody thinks they know more than us when we know more than them. Right. You know, uh, but at the same time, I think we all should bring all our skills, that's right, our knowledge together. Right. Look at the trades that we will have for the future. Exactly. So, you know, let's march out of here together and try to work together. And because, uh, I, you know, I'm over here with some of these old folks, but I'm younger than all of them. <laughs> 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 <laughs>